Well, I do that pluckers. I have saw things again with you, but hopefully another interesting ditty for you. A classic song from The Pretenders, of course, and Breath in Pocket. Okay, standard tuning, no capos, doing it in the same key as the original version by The Pretenders. Now, obviously, this uh, the original version contains uh, quite a few guitar layers, sort of overdubs, etc. So, um, this is a what I'm doing is a very simplified. A single guitar version okay so it's just um, it's got a flavor of it it's not going to sound exactly the same because it hasn't got four or five guitars jingly jangling away but uh, let's get to it and show you exactly what I'm doing okay so the introduction is this okay so um, what I'm doing there is it's basically a partial A chord with a, a ninth note in it um, so I'm playing the uh, first finger 6th fret of the 3rd string and my 2nd finger is playing the 7th fret of the 4th string. Torpy string open, 2nd string open and uh, the 5th string open. And what I'm doing is... So and my little 3rd finger is going up to make a suspended chord on the 7th fret of the 3rd string very briefly okay so strum hammer up to that seventh fret on the third string with you or a third finger take it off right and that's your intro yeah let me come into the uh, iconic bit okay and the way I'm doing it is this. Now, this involves some palm muting, okay? Back edge of the hand here, resting very, very lightly somewhere near the bridge. And very, very lightly. And what I'm doing is I'm playing, first finger is on the ninth fret of the third string. Third finger uh, is playing the, that's first finger, Ninth fret of the third string, third finger is playing the eleventh fret of the fourth string. Just those two. Again, open top E string, open second string. And it's basically. Uh, so when I'm. It's sort of very, very light pressure, glancing pressure. If you play it without that, you just get a bit of a jingle jangle mess. This is not too bad, but it's, it's too much, yeah? So the second bit is just um, both the third string and the fourth string fretted at the ninth fret with my second and third fingers. So it goes from that shape to that shape. Again, open top E, open second string, and again, four downwards, okay? So this is it. Okay, so it's like a well, on the first one you can hit the A string, that's quite good. Okay. And the second chord is is this A sus four with a ninth in it. It's just again, just move that double fingering on the uh, ninth fret down to the seventh fret and add your finger, first finger to the sixth fret of the third string. So two strokes, three strokes with the uh, two fingers together there, and then take that third finger away, first finger sixth fret on the third string. Okay, same as the intro type of thing, yeah. So, so far we've got this. Okay, obviously you can, if you've got an electric version of guitar, got a pickup on it, you can put it through a, um, a, a chorus pedal or something to really make it nice jingly jangly. Okay, so you do that three times. Okay, this three times. Pressing. Okay. Right, so I got this. 
three times. Then what we do is keeping that shape like that, sixth fret, third, seventh fret, the fourth. Just work your way up, top E string, second string, third string. So you've got up on the third one, it's so far. Okay. And then what I tend to do is this. Just that. Um, okay, all I'm doing there is I'm, I'm fretting the seventh fret of the third and the second strings. Okay, it's like a D, uh, D add nine sort of note. Five downwards or four downwards, whichever. Very slowly. Something like that. And that's one way to do it. Uh, there's various ways of doing it to try and simulate what's going on the record, but I think that bit's a sort of build up bit, and I think it's nice to give it strumming rather than picking notes out. Okay, so so far. Repeat another three times. Same again. Now we go into the next bit, which is that's exactly the same, okay, that bit. But the second one is different. It's so I'm playing an E sus4 to an E again. So when you come out of this uh, first one, okay, just keep those two fingers together, but take them down to the second fret, and then take this um, third finger off and make the E first first fingers playing the first fret of the third string. Okay, just take that second finger off. So this one, and you do that four times, okay? So that's four times. One more time. Then we go to an A chord. To an A sus four, so that's A. And then move the pinky up to the third fret, second string. Get it. That sort of thing, right? Do it twice, yeah. And then to a B minor. Simple B minor is okay. Or a B minor bar chord, whichever you want to do. Second fret bar minor shape, yeah. You can do a strum and a pick mixture or just strum, okay? And into a D chord with um, F sharp with a little pinky is a nice addition. Fourth fret, fourth string with a pinky. Standard D chord is fine, but it sounds better, I think, with the added F sharp on the fourth string there. Fourth fret, fourth string. And then you do sort of two bars of that, so it goes A, and then another 
other two bars but with E in the bass, bottom E string open and there it's back to finished it but it just does more the same you got the idea so um, let's just try and run through the whole thing I'll try and knock it back a bit so you see what I'm doing okay we'll try and go through the whole thing as I did it there on demo okay so here we go Put that through a chorus pedal. That sound uh, twice as good, I should imagine. Thanks very much for watching this thing. Hope you helped you play that song, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.